Hello everybody, Turiosaurus here, and today we have a uh, little bit of a tutorial on how to make Strange Matter, also known as Red Matter. This is for the Volts mod pack. Uh, I hope you guys are doing great. I'm doing okay. Um, I was doing better earlier when I thought I made a huge breakthrough with this right here. This was my original uh, Strange Matter creation thing. I've been working on this for two days. This is actually my sixth world that I've been using these particle accelerators trying to generate them. And today the particle accelerator wiki updated and I found out something very, very cool, yet very, very sad for me. <clears throat> so this is my new red matter generator. You might be thinking to yourself, how can this simple construct create uh, that strange matter stuff? Well, as a matter of fact, it creates it very efficiently. I would, uh, I would have you know. So what you need for this is um, advanced battery boxes. Uh, these guys hold the electricity to power up your particle accelerators. I'm using infinite batteries because I'm creative mode and I'm cheating. Fusion reactors work just as well. Then you're going to need particle accelerators, of course. A little bit of redstone, lever. This turns on the particle accelerators. Um, electromagnetic glass and or electromagnets. Uh, these electromagnetic glass things are actually pretty cheap. It's just an electromagnet and glass in a crafting table. Um, you may want to put some empty cells in here. I don't think it actually makes a difference. And then you're going to need a whole ton of dirt. So basically, the original theory behind creating strange matter is that it was when particles collided that that explosion had a chance to create the strange matter, a 5% chance, as a matter of fact. So it's pretty slim. Turns out <clears throat> it's any particle explosion, not just when they collide, which is great because that means you can do this. This is super cheap in comparison to this, which is a small version of these. So uh, you're saving yourself tons and tons <clears throat> of uh, material. Excuse me, by the way. So I'm going to turn these on. Going to get these running. You'll hear that noise in the background. That's them going. Pretty soon we're going to get some explosions. But right now, <clears throat> I'm going to go over how you create everything. So advanced battery box. You need batteries. Battery box. Advanced circuits. Insulated copper wires, these are the same in, in everything. It's just, you know, that. Um, wool, leather, in tech it, that would be um, rubber. But yeah, so we're, we're going to create some battery boxes, right? Batteries are like this. It's all very, very simple stuff. Um, the only thing that's actually really difficult is going to be this advanced circuit. That requires a diamond. Uh, quite a bit of redstone. Basic circuit requires some redstone too. Bronze and or steel. That's pretty simple. Electromagnets are where it gets expensive. Uh, these require a motor, which is steel and copper wire, or iron and copper wire, uh, whichever you choose. And you're going to need uh, one motor per block, as well as eight bronze. So it gets pretty expensive in the bronze category. It's not too, too terrible. Then you're going to want the particle accelerator. This is four elite circuits. Now these things are spendy because the elite circuits require two advanced circuits. And if you remember from before, each advanced circuit is a diamond. So for each one of these things that you want, you're going to need, oh, what, eight diamonds? Which is pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. And yet, <clears throat> surprisingly cheap in comparison to what we thought it used to be. Even though you're spending more diamonds, you're saving out on so many more resources, I would still say it's cheap. So now, these have exploded for a while. Um, let's pull down our strange matter. Both of these were gotten legitly, by the way. And we're just going to kind of walk back and forth and see if we don't pick up a strange matter somewhere in here. Um, doesn't seem to have happened yet. I'm going to keep recording to make sure I get this on camera. And I'll be back, guys. And there we are. You guys probably saw that right there. That is a simple explosion creating one strange matter right there. That's actually not that long of a wait. So this is a very, very simple way to, well, I'm not going to say mass produce strange matter, but I would almost say that it's easier to get strange matter than antimatter, which is a little weird. Luckily, uh, I'm fairly certain that for the red matter stuff, which here we'll just type red matter to figure it out, Pretty sure for the red matter explosive, you need antimatter. Yes, you do. So you will have to create this as well as a uh, 
full-scale particle accelerator so it's still going to be very difficult and for that you need explosive or nuclear explosive so I mean you're gonna need a whole ton of materials before you can get the red matter still which is good it's good that that's balanced out now for those of you wondering I am on the uh, quote unquote recommended version for uh, for this date I believe it's like 1.011 something like that so uh, at some point this will be updated and I would expect for in the future uh, of volts that this method right here is no longer gonna work so if you watch this video a couple months from now and you realize that it's just not working it's very likely that they fix this and you'll have to then collide particles again which is very complicated and that's when you use this setup right here so basically I figured out that if you go particles counterclockwise uh, and they don't meet perfectly then they don't count as being on the same circuit or something like that I uh, tried to show you guys this thing working earlier and I was getting some major graphical errors and I had to log in and log out every single time I wanted to see my particles going um, somewhat similar to this you'll notice that I don't see my particles running before they explode don't know what that's about if anyone knows um, please tell me because I've been messing with that for a little while now too and I like to see these particles they actually look fairly cool but I think that's going to do it, guys. So have a great day, and I'll be seeing you next time.